Let's Talk Theory is a new educational series that I'm launching on my YouTube channel and also my blog, consultwithkate.com. Today, we are going to talk about three things you absolutely must know about flow state. Whether that phrase is new to you or something you've heard before, we're gonna go over some great information and we're also going to help you figure out how to get into flow state so that you can be as productive and creative as possible. Let's talk theory. Three things you need to know about flow state. What will you learn in this video? All right, let's just get started. Number one, what flow state is and isn't. Two, what activities get you into flow state? And three, how getting into flow state can benefit you. What is flow state? In positive psychology, a flow state is being, quote, in the zone. You feel an abundance of energy and focus on your current activity. If you've experienced flow state, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't, it's a really good thing that you stumbled upon this video. Flow is gold. How can I tell if I'm in a flow state? Well, you'll feel totally immersed in what you're doing. You lose a sense of passing time. You have heightened creativity and productivity. You feel a sense of excitement or enjoyment. You don't wish you were doing something else. It's that lost in the moment, wish it could go on forever feeling. So who decided flow state was a thing? A Hungarian American psychologist named Mihai Csikszentmihalyi founded the term in 1975. If you're a millennial, that's probably when your parents were in their 20s. Point being, flow state is not a new idea. While the concept was born in the field of psychology, it can be used across fields of study, various work forms, hobbies, and so on. Is hyperfocus the same as being in a flow state? In order to be sure you're not confusing flow state with hyperfocus, let's talk about the difference. It is critical not to mix the two. So the answer, nope because hyperfocus is not always positive, whereas being in a flow state is ideal. Hyperfocus can include becoming absorbed with non-productive activities, such as television, gaming, and scrolling social media apps. It can also include becoming sidetracked by certain elements of a project that prohibit you from completing the task as a whole. Let me give you a couple of examples so that you can really picture what it would look like when flow state is happening. First one. A clothing designer happily sketches dresses for hours, coming up with a seemingly endless array of iterations. She feels an overwhelming sense of inspiration and possibility. She's not distracted by anything around her. So don't just think about what she's doing. Imagine how she is feeling as she's doing it. So number two, a guidance counselor. He's shocked to find his session discussing career options with a student is over. It was an hour long, but felt like just minutes, and his ideas were flowing effortlessly. He can't wait to do it again. When do I personally get into a flow state? I'm gonna tell you what puts me into a flow state because I think it will help you better discern what does it for you. I can remember being in flow as a kid, even at seven or eight years old. It often happened when I was making something, braiding friendship bracelets, building with clay, or really doing any art project. In my present life, I have examples as well. I get into flow when I'm coaching my one-on-one -on -one clients, especially in the categories of strategy and motivation, when I'm painting, when I'm doing arts and crafts like needlepoint, and also when I'm goal planning. What causes you to get into a flow state? Here are a few prompts to help you determine what activities do or will put you into flow. We all have different triggers, so try not to judge yourself or overthink as you write down your answers. Again, write down your answers. One, imagine a typical day. What activity or activities do you get lost in? Which activities do you look forward to the most? Two, if you could get paid to do anything, what things or thing would you choose? Three, what activities give you the reaction of losing time or time passing quickly? Spend at least 10 minutes on this exercise and try to think of past and current answers. Dip back into childhood, think about a few years ago and what's going on in your life right now that potentially gets you into flow. Wait, what if my work never gets me into a flow state? During the last exercise, you may have realized the activities you wrote down simply do not relate to your job what you do to get paid. So let's talk about that. Let's assume you need to make money. 
Well, don't quit your job just yet. Let's think, are there any elements of your work that relate to activities that put you into a flow state? You could consider using those elements of your job as rewards after tasks you dislike doing. I like to call these your allergy tasks. These are tasks that give you a strong reaction of distaste and totally zap your energy. If your job does not get you into flow state, it might be time to consider a career that capitalizes on what does get you into flow. Don't be afraid to think on that and to talk about your options with people you trust. You'll probably want to bring the answers to the exercise you just did. Critical takeaways. Number one, flow state is being in the zone. If you don't remember what it means, you won't act on it. Here's a trick. Make an association. For example, if you like basketball, NBA players are in a flow state when they're on the court. Think of someone that you admire doing the thing that they do for their career or for their hobby and get that mental image in your mind and connect that with the flow state. Number two, spending time in a flow state will increase your productivity, creativity, and general enjoyment of a task. I shouldn't have to convince you that you want this for yourself. Number three, when you know what activities get you into flow state, you could pinpoint your passions and unlock your full potential. Sounds good, right? Now go back and actually do the exercise before something else distracts you. Now that you've learned about flow state and you're ready to implement that into your work habits or even perhaps change your work altogether, I wanna give you a tool that's going to help you with goal planning. It's called the Success Capture System and it's available for free on my website. You can download it now. Go ahead and click on the link below this video.